good day. Hello, this is Matthew and Dazzo. This is 217 Top Trades. Okay, today is Wednesday, the 10 13. And what happened today was we started, uh, let's see, um, it was just slightly positive, but then we went to red. So we went really f from most indexes, all of them, uh, we went from red to green, which is a huge sign. Um, we did have CPI data come out and uh, the FOMC minutes, Fed minutes came out and it is confirming for inflation uh, along with uh, gold and a couple other, um, not gas I would say, a couple other factors that um, inflation is running rampant right now. Um, so we have to look out for that. Uh, and what other news? Uh, Biden today picks up FedEx and UPS and a couple other Target and Walmart, I believe, on that the supply chain that they would help, you know, you go more after hours um, and use more of the downtime uh, for other people to their advantage, which is a pretty good idea considering the ports now that are going to be 24-7. Um, which is a great thing. So hopefully this doesn't happen again because this is uh, You know, this is something happened that, that happens, you know once in a lifetime you could say um, But other countries have got it more more right and we're kind of lacking behind and it's and it's hitting everybody here at home in the US um, as as abroad um, but let me get back down to it because uh, I'm not here for all this chit chat because I've got a lot of other things to take care of um, but anyways JP Morgan fell today. Uh, financials and the Dow, they kind of did, they did lag, but they did, they did battle back pretty, pretty strongly. Uh, but the JP Morgan down 2.6, down 161. Plug had a nice day. Um, it's up to 330, uh, excuse me, 33.5, up 12.7. Crowd had a nice day on um, its analysts um, bumping its stock up, up a little bit. And uh, news that it would use a couple other services like Google, um, ServiceNow, and a couple other um, highly sought after um, equities there. So it got a nice bump of 7% up to 270. Upstar had an all time high, I believe, today, up 3.5%, up to three, 30, 344. Snow had a nice day, um, I would say, um, right along there with a sympathy play with Crowd, up to 327, up 4.7%. Dow, um, Delta Airlines it went down 5.7 on earnings beat but just a guide might be a little bit lower so it's down to $41 down 5.7 uh, BlackRock it had an earnings beat we are getting uh, folks we are getting back into earnings season and uh, when a company does beat it more or less likely sends the investors up a little bit more and for um, people for them to buy but anyways I'll give you an example right here BlackRock it went up $31 today on a on a good beat and a forecast higher uh, it, it's up to 3.7 dollars excuse me 3.7 percent up to 867 dollars zoom was uh, rolling at, at its bottoms uh, down to 266 dollars but it's up 4.2 percent that's it was green now uh, it went red hard uh, down 26 percent and it's down to 11 like I said FedEx and everything got a nice little bump what happened in crypto today crypto battled back uh, BTC is up at 57,118 up 3.2 percent and Ethereum's up 2.2 percent up 3,560 ADA's at 2 2.15 up 1.3 uh, Solana is down 2.5 146 Avalanche is up 1.3 nine up to 54 sheaves flat at 0.28 um, 0 0.00028 uh, and what other news AT&T like I said yesterday is rolling around like some very very important lows so it shows you maybe that people are um, either there was a whole bunch of uh, shares traded a lot more than expected maybe people are getting out of that and uh, shifting their money elsewhere because that is a huge 7.1 billion float um, I will be uh, keep watching that with me uh, I'll keep you keep you tuned but it yields to 2.08 right now eight um, eight point eight percent so that's um, that uh, there could be opportunities there 
um, for inflation investors. But anyways, let me get back down to it. Commodities world gold, like I did say, it rose 1.9% up to 1793 on um, a weaker dollar and a, a strong inflation number. Um, the CPI, aka. Um, so that's that. As silver, it was at up 2.6 up to 23.1. Copper, it rose slightly up to 4.4. Oils stayed flat at 83 and 80. Mad gas rose 3% up to 5.6, which is, I feel like, an inflation indicator um, that something is going to stay with us like that. Wheat's down to 7.1. Corn's at 5.1, uh, lost 2%. Soybeans, um, they're at 11.9. Palladium, it rose to 2,171, um, up 2.9%. Hogs at 8.88. Cattle's at 1.24 and cotton uh, went down a little bit at 1.03 at 2.2 percent and what other news um, TLT like I said um, so I, I like to do correlations and what and and divergences um, in the market and TLT is um, coming up here it's at 1.4 UVXY it actually did the um, opposite and it's at 19.7 down 2.8 percent Along with the VIX, it's down 2.4%. It's at 19.23. And I was going to say last night, but it was uh, the Dixie, or no, excuse me. Yeah, the Dixie was 94.5, or and now it's at 94. So it lost about a half a percent there. And, um, oh, and the Qs, the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ, it was up about 1.1%. The... Um, the, the SQQQQ, uh, the shorts. So you have to look out for that. But anyways, today, those same, um, they're down 2.3%. So it's the opposite. And that's what had the um, a little breathing room that the NASDAQ could put in today. But anyways, the Dow, like I said, it, it was, um, it was um, red and it went from red to green. Well, red to flat. It's at 34,388. It gained a round trip of 255 points, and the S and P, it was at 4,305 and uh, 365, excuse me, and it's at 0.33 percent or 14 points. And the Nasdaq, it rose 115 points at 14,777, and it was the leader for the day at 0.79, which is a good thing for um, the Nasdaq. And the Russell, it was at 2,247, up 0.61 and up 13 points in other news like I did say uh, oh the CPI it was um, a huge thing is uh, rent if that goes up that is a huge inflationary measure so expect people to be um, piling into real estate which is a good uh, profit margin there and um, food was up and furniture uh, especially from those bottlenecks out there um, on the ports and uh, what else do I have here? Oh, I just have one more quote for you guys. I appreciate you guys. I hope this might be a little bit longer, but I think there's some great content in here. Stick with me. Um, I'm just here for all you guys. Um, and uh, this is my quote for the day. And I quote, When I do good, I feel good. When I do bad, I feel bad. And that is my religion. Anyways, this is Matthew Naz. This is 217 Top Trades. Goodbye.